Hey everyone, and welcome back to Community Builds. I forget which number we're on, probably like 62 or so. Um, um January 1st is going to be 3-0 or 3-1 and then restart, but either way, it'll be less confusing. This week, we are starting off with a late submission for last week, which was the camping challenge. This is my first, my first vehicle I made from memory, Stealthy Green. This was my first attempt at recreating the first ever car I made on an unofficial version of the game. <laughs> Are you talking about the version that was going around just before it was on Steam? Because that's when I made my 4-link. <laughs> Either way, or 3-link. Either way, I think it was a tiny bit bigger, maybe, but I am very unsure. It is, f it is far in my memory, but I'm pretty sure that that's how it looked. Maybe a few different things. I already uh, the game well because I watched a lot of YouTube prior to playing. So yeah, um, this could be from like 2015, early 2016. So, this is awesome. Um, which reminds me, there's actually a challenge coming up soon where it's some of your oldest creations so stuff like this but either way it looks like a little rv and to be honest the size of it looks perfect for scrap mechanic especially if you were to update it with just make it look better you keep the same size keep everything where it is but just round it out a bit better Maybe use some different materials and so on, you know what I mean, just to like, bring it up to date with what it can be in scrap. But either way, we've got our grill, headlights, bumper, wheels. I like how you use the wood and whatnot to actually get like a different look on it, kind of like an old woody style almost. Spare tire, backlights, this would have been before you could do anything with the lights, this would have been before you could upgrade suspension, uh, this would have been before welding. So yeah, this is awesome. So here's the little cabin, so you can, there's not even any springs on it, it's just stiff. Driver's seat, passenger seat, come back, there's a little table, counter, sink, fridge, toilet. And really, in an RV, that's all you need. You could tuck a bed in somewhere, and especially if you're just living on your own or with someone else, just put a curtain there and you're good. Do, do, do. Um, can you close the door from the inside? I'm going to attach that to the seat really quick, just in case. Either way, let's take the two AC on the, the units on the... You're cooling the outside. Okay. Thank you for battling global warming. You're putting the heat into your RV and cooling the outside. Come on, go. It's so heavy and no suspension. It just can't go. I want to take it for a quick spin, but I have to be quick this week. There's actually... 12 submissions this week, which I'm very surprised about. It does, it just does not want to go. I believe back then it was also a much, much flatter terrain. So this would have worked pretty well, but yeah, <laughs> it's not going to anymore, but I like it. This, it's a really good example of how good scrap i feel has always been but it's also a good example of ooh, glass sorry but it's also a good example of where we've come even without mods but especially with mods what we've done with the game and it's not even done yet so like i said if you were to bring this up to date and just make it modern like just new stuff, you know what I mean? I think this would look really cool, and maybe actually like usable air conditioning. <laughs> but either way, like I said, we have 12 this week, so I need to move on. 
The next creation, <clears throat> excuse me, is a Neva 4x4 solid by Tunk Tutun. Inspired by Lada Neva, no suspension parts, but has suspension. Solid axle leaf suspensions, it's vanilla. Really fun to crawl over rocks and stuff. If it gets laggy, just paint any part of it and it should keep you going for a while again. Not much detail, but fun to drive around. So, I'm really curious about the suspension, but I will get back to that in a moment. It does work, clearly. Um, I haven't seen Lada in person, but what I have seen of these looks really good. Quite accurate. I like it. I think this would be a ton of fun in real life, especially. Just some kind of like little car SUV type thingy with massive wheels on it. Like, why not? Got a nice, smooth trunk in the back. Bed area, whichever you want to call it. It's... That confused me a little bit. Left-hand drive. A little bit of detail on the interior, but... Good enough for now. All the special important bits are in the suspension. So... Let's put that under the skid plate. Check it out. So it is controller suspension. Oh, that's interesting. It's like it uses these two here. They're like binding in between them pulling on them it's like it uses those for the suspension and those adjust where it is and for the most part it's just a normal straight axle this is interesting i've never seen it done like this before it's kind of Levels back out. That's really weird. I'm going to bring it over here really quick. Just kind of climb up here, see how it does. I wish I had more time today, but I don't. Do. Lots of power to the front, that's for sure. It does handle really well though. I'm surprised. Especially for not having actual springs, it has a lot of flex. And especially for having imitated leaf springs. The way that's moving just it actually looks oops, real. Uh-oh, there we go. Let me in. Go. I'm gonna try and uh, keep a good look on the side and drive over some stuff, but. There we go. Uh oh. It's really top heavy, that's for sure. Especially when it's on an angle. But yeah, this thing's awesome. I'm impressed with the suspension. I've never seen it done like that before. It is really cool. To watch the back for a minute. That works so well. I'm impressed. Oops. There we go. And yeah, this would be a lot of fun to just drive around in, but unfortunately, I need to move on to the next one. It's so bouncy, too. Let me out! That's a lot of fun. If anyone's looking for something that's just great for off-road, even on trails, that would look amazing on trails. By the way, I forgot to mention, but the challenge this week was off-road. So, like, literal, no roads, just anywhere, other than a path or a road or whatever. So, hence, bigger lifted vehicles 
This is cool. I should go on to the survival world, but... It's, uh, physics. So, yeah. By the way, this is a Toyota... Explain this one, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a Toyota FJ, FJ Cruiser with... Ooh, four-wheel steering. By TN. Two, no mods. One and two, control the rear steering. Three is headlights. It has a pan heart bar. Cool, let's try this out. And I just spawned another one by accident. I can't think today. Alrighty, so. This looks exactly like an FJ Cruiser. It might be a little short. Just maybe in the front door. But this looks really good. That's the steering there. Proper steering. Steering box kind of thing. Drag link. Tie rod. A little pan hard bar in the middle. Interesting. Three. I'm curious to see how the suspension moves. On the outside, it looks just like an FJ Cruiser. Suspension, simple for scrap mechanic. Interior looks pretty good. I don't know what the inside of an FJ looks like. Oh, you got a little roll bar there too. That's cool. Doesn't look like it's properly attached. Right there. It's awesome. So yeah, steering. There's one way. Ooh, it's binding on the exhaust and stuff. Oh, it's um. It like that. Might be a little annoying, but <clears throat> we'll see. Lots of torque. The thing with Okay, I thought the back was steering on its own for a minute. It seems your steering on the back is a little weak. It's kinda Unless that's it turning on its own, which I don't think it is. No. It's just not happy. But, I was gonna say, off-road vehicles don't need to be super fast. They just need to go anywhere. And I think this thing... will go basically anywhere. It's kinda... Grab it along because why not? The steering's a little annoying to use just because of how it's set up. I like having a mine set to the front wheels to either be opposite or parallel automatically. But actually, I go like that. I should be able to just use the mouse. There we go. Steer using the back wheels. Because why not? Yeah, this thing's awesome. Too much steering. There we go. Right, let's get a better look at that uh, suspension. That's just so it has a lot of drop. So those are both uh, uncompressed. Both sides. It looks like that should let it drop more. But it's not, so I don't know. Either way, this is awesome. And from what I can test of it at the moment, it would absolutely be a ma- ooh wheelie yay it would be amazing in survival especially with the sticky wheels this would go literally anywhere back up onto the platform and on to the next one Let's see if it'll go up Works being a little bit of a pain in the butt at this point, though. It was nice at first, but it'll be nice again. It's a little back-heavy. 
As long as you don't try and climb up too steep, probably because of the spare wheel. If we take the spare off really quick. Well, that's a little bit better, but it's still really back heavy. Either way, this thing would be great for crawling and just getting anywhere you need to go that is hard to get to, like through the woods, up a mountain, and so on. This is awesome. Just give it a little bit of a flex so we can see the suspension. And yeah, I gotta move on to the next one. I can click on thing. Oh. Next is off-road 4x4 by... Okay. 634 Recruit Beesmith. They've changed their name a few. By the way, this blueprint comes complete with 4x4 locking low-range drivetrain Realistic inline turbo diesel and front door lights 4x4 hood might lag. Okay. So it has to do that air is probably for the low range. Same on the back. Simple straight axle. Electric. It's cool. Ooh, or is it? It's, I don't know. Probably electric for the challenge and then... Or no, le electric's for low. So that's like the gas tank and stuff. And then the electric's for low range. And you've got your normal engine for high. <clears throat> Can't believe I forgot that. By the way, it looks really good. A lot of body work to actually give it proper lines and whatnot. Big fenders. Big wheel wells. High bumpers. That'll be nice for clearance. Snorkel. Bit of a roll cage. And it's not lagging that much, not yet. A usable bed, which I really like in scrap. I love it when you can actually use your vehicles. And a nice interior. Got a tunnel for the gearbox and drivetrain and all that. Cool. All right, door, lights. That's the low gear. And that's the hood. Ooh, the entire front end lifts open. That looks cool. There's the diesel. That side with the turbo. Lots of details. Close the hood again. And go for a spin. So normal high range. Handles pretty good. fairly fast, it doesn't seem to understeer. If anything, it might even actually have some oversteer. Um, it seems like at a certain point something starts binding and it's not happy, but that's probably all the lag is. So I'm going to go back to over here. Cycle it on the lift. Oops, wrong way. And see if it'll climb up there. Because why not? Ooh. Me? Yep. And now we have electric power. Or low. Or more torque. That's exactly how I would how I would want a low range to work. This is nice. I like it. Oh, I guess there's a good look at the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, this is really cool. I don't know what to really say about it. I just this is one of the another one of those that I just like to look at because it looks really cool. And then, driving it's a lot of fun. In survival, this should work. So, I might head over there at some point and test it out, but... 
For the most part, it's pretty simple. It's just, it looks good, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm going to... Move on to the next one. I feel bad when I, in a way, when I do the ones that I feel really look good, but are kind of simple in a way, because there isn't much to say on them, so I end up spending less time on them, but they're still just as cool. But next is 6x6 by Ripsaw711. This is how... or this is my first 6x6. Very old build. Updated it with new wheels since the old ones were modded. Other than that, it's the same as it was pre-survival. This looks like an old, like, rat truck made into a big 6x6 crawler. I miss my old rat truck. I should rebuild it. This is cool. This looks really good. Simple straight axles all the way through, the same way I'd do it even, so I can't complain there. This little step that folds out, interior. Once again, not a whole lot to look at. It does look good, but it's more of... It's fun. Like, not... I don't mean not a lot to look at, not a lot of detail to go over. It's really fast though, I'm surprised. Ooh, it wants to roll. One nice thing about this is it's probably heavier in the front than it is the back. So if I go like this, it might just crawl up. I could keep all the wheels on the ground it might that's another thing that really sucks about scrap is we don't have proper like differentials or anything or proper torque or whatever so making something actually crawl is such a huge pain yeah with enough work it would get up there but I don't have enough time to do that right now I'm surprised at how fast it is. And wait, it... Why is it... Oh, the wheels are hitting the cab, it looks like, and making it tilt. Or is there something fancy going on? No, nope, it's just binding a little bit. So yeah. It looks really good, especially when it's... Some flex going on. That's awesome. This would make such a cool cargo, like, not cargo truck, but transport truck. For survival, it would pull, it would tow a heavy trailer pretty much anywhere, I think, in survival, so. That would be great. This would be so much fun. And all I can think of is rebuilding my old rat rod again. But, like before, as I said, there aren't too many details to actually go over, so I am going to move on to the next one. It looks really good though, and it's a lot of fun to drive, I just wish I had more time. But, that's because everyone sent in so much stuff. This is just Off-Road Challenge by Arashi. Looks like a Bronco. I'm not sure what year Bronco it looks like. Maybe one of the more like original ones, but it looks really good. Have to jump up. Nice little V8 in there. Oh, excuse me. All the details. And then radiator, um, coolant piping, everything. And then we have a old school three link with Looks like bump stops. Ooh, that might flex a little weird having those same spot like that, but or like at the same height. But we'll see. It might actually help with torque. Same in the back. A little bit of usable space. And then simple interior. Nice light bar. That actually looks really good. 
cage on this looks really good. It's simple, but it looks good. Lights and lights. All the lights. Yeah, that's the uh, bump stops. There we go. You can see when it dropped out that it's just a bump stop there. So yeah, this is the same as I would do, but a Bronco. And with having bump stops on it, it should actually handle really well until they get stuck. One issue with bump stops in this is they get shoved through your axle and no longer work. So like literally hold it in place and you just flip like that. So I'm going to go back to the thing since the bump stops are catching really bad. Is it? Oh, maybe. Because you have so much body roll, it could be pushing past part on the axle getting stuck. I get over back to the launch pad and make it flex and see what happens. But if it weren't for the typical video game collisions, this would actually work really well. Up we go! See, I can't even test it like this. There's not enough weight on it. But either way, I think it was just these two parts clipping through each other. As getting past each other in some way as bump stops typically do but this looks really good I really like this put a little winch there well elbows and then something in the middle like a wire spool you got a winch but yeah Either way, I'm going to move on to the next one. Because I think that is everything I can they cover in this one. I like how you use the, the holder to make it a better little spring there. That looks good too. Just little details. I'm going to move on to the next one. Because I still have five, six more to go. Uh, okay. This is Extreme 3 Link Crawler Truck by Dusty Red 762 Pipe frame crawler truck with front and rear 3 links electric drive. Large high friction wheels. Has pistons to act as shocks. Uh, engine details. Fan looks a little weird. Uh, ooh. I'm just trying to skim through really quick. Okay. So just basically a little bit of stuff about the engine, and then it uses pistons, so they're like shocks, and, and uh... Oh, it's just top heavy. This looks like one you've sent in before. Slow, but it probably has a ton of torque. So let's go over here and... Crawl around on this like before. This should have... Yeah. A lot of flex. Here, and come down this way again. Settle. Yeah, once it settles, it just... All the wheels are back on the ground, it doesn't care. And it looks like it could probably go a lot further too. Until you land on the roof. Let's head back over to the launch pad. I'll take a quick look at the suspension and the engine. And so on. It looks like a really long truck with a chopped roof. So low and long. 
It's so loud for how slow it is. It's like four wheel low in last gear, or first gear. There we go. There's a better look at the flex. It's crazy. Look out, glow bugs. I'm gonna squish you. Or not. Come on. I might have found the limit of its flex. Look at those adorable little glow bugs. They're so cute. By the way, this truck is crazy. While I've been driving around, I'm just thinking of places on survival. Like little mountains, not little mountains. Big mountains and stuff that this could just climb up. We're here. Better look at the suspension and the engine. There's a V8, looks like an LS. Stacks on it, that looks really good. Intake. Ooh, it is an upside down three link. That's interesting. Why do people do that in this now and then? It's weird. It's so weird. And then, bump stops. Piston for the actual suspension. It kind of goes up and around. And then the same on the back. Except it's not upside down. Just Flexi flex. So that's crazy. I don't think this is the same one you submitted before, but it's just as crazy. Awesome. There's a little bit more adjustments as you can tell. If I actually had the time to really drive and test out creations today, it would be nice, but fortunately, keep mentioning, I don't. Community build off-road thing. See my C Maya 0504. No description. It looks like a oopsies. As I hit the key. It looks free runner. Ooh, and it's laggy. Why is it so laggy? Has two or looks like a four cylinder in it. It's coming out the side. We have beam, front suspension, bump stops, and looks like some caster adjustment. And then, oh, we have radius arms. That would be why it's so laggy, because of the radius arms. I will check those in a moment. I think that's what they're called. We have a four link in the back with bump stops and a, okay, and a sway bar. You went all out with this truck. Fire extinguisher, four seater. Right, okay, let's, uh, wow. Like radius arms keeps the wheel from going forwards and backwards and you got them working I've had so much trouble building those in scrap mechanic even with mods but due to the lag I'm going to hurry up and take this for a spin <clears throat> that's just the lights yep this actually looks really good just trying to shift my position a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> but no, this looks really good. It reminds me of like an older Ford or Chevy. And I'm really curious at how it's going to handle lots of suspension travel, I can tell already. Hmm, excuse me. Nothing like likes driving over that, so... And we ignore that little bit. And we will go back this way. 
Yeah. This would be a really, really good pre-runner. Like, it's so smooth and it stays really level. Like, I'm surprised at how level it's the body's staying. The wheels are just soaking up everything. Ah! Don't go in the water. Do the jump instead. Even with the radius arms, you have tons of travel on the front, I'm surprised. This thing's awesome. This is another one of those creations that I could just drive around. Just drive forever. Watch the suspension move. Look at all of that travel. That is crazy. I use that as a thumbnail, why not? It technically doesn't suit this week's challenge as I consider this to be more of a pre-runner than a full-blown off-road truck because this you would follow dirt roads with, not no roads. So it may not follow the challenge, but it's still awesome. Oh, and there's a little bit of glitch welding. But either way, I must move on or I will take too long with this one. Next, we have Stealthy Green again. Did two from them this week because the la the other one was a late submission for the other challenge. Either way, this is a real drive quad slash four wheeler slash ATV. <laughs> a little quad I made just to cruise around, simple little thing, nothing much. Got, yep, simple suspension. Oh! Really? Okay. Oh, that entire front bar turns. Alright, that makes sense. Spring on the back. Or beer, beer, bearings, yeah, bearings. So it can go forwards and back. And then as usual, headlights. Reverse. And then that one's probably forwards. Yep. Usually there's an on and off, but... On this one, uh oh. This is hard to drive. Ooh, and now it's running away. Aside from it being so hard to drive, this is... It's too fast. And that's on one. It's too fast set to one. Alright, there we go. A little bit better. Oh, I'm gonna roll it. Or not. <laughs> no! Don't run away. I think everyone should race these. So everyone paints one a different color and then just go. You gotta race and you gotta win. You're good. I can't think today as you can tell, but either way, trying to race these would be hilarious. I think for most of the time they'd just be running off on their own as there's a little person running behind it. But either way, my computer tries to make me switch keyboards. I am going to switch to the next one. This is nice and simple. All the details it needs to be an ATV and then real drive. If you don't know what real drive is, it's, as I explained, just the buttons instead of using an actual seat. We've covered it lots in community builds. So yeah. A little ATV. That thing's adorable. It really is. But I need to move on to the next one. It's so cute. Anyways, this is a Jeep Cherokee Chief SJ Overlander with Trailer by Ann and Faye or Hunter Boots. My remastered Cherokee with, ooh, air ride, three link suspension, provides smooth and cool ride. And with Overlander Trailer, perfect for disconnect the trailer, it's not as laggy. Thank you, viewer. Yeah, thank you to viewers like you. Thank you. 
Gotta read it all. I can. So yeah, that is... Looks like an older looking... This almost looks like a Wagoneer to me. But... Cherokee. And then a really good looking off-grid camping trailer. And ooh, air ride. It's not that laggy either. So we have... I was not expecting this. Okay. I'm going to go through the suspension really quick. And it over with. So. Engine. Gearbox. Transfer case. Lower links. And an upper link. Pistons. Ooh. High rod. Back. It's a relink as well. Done similar. Exhaust running through around everything. Oh my. And then. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and then we've got some like chassis rails and stuff. Got our exhaust. Something there. Not sure what that is. Okay, and then the trailer. We have just a simple bumper mount. Go hitch. Chassis. Hey. I like how you even added the little skid uh, plates for, excuse me, um, getting it up and over stuff and pulling it down thing. I love air ride. Okay. Looks exactly like I said, like a Jeep, uh, Wagoneer, or Cherokee. Top we have roof rack. With a cargo container, jerry cans. Those actually look really good for jerry can. Winch, lights, everything it should need on the front. This looks really good. Hood open. The hood does not open, and it probably has a V8 in it, from what I can tell. I don't want to rip off the hood or anything. I really. I, yeah. I don't really have the time for it. Go in the back. Lots of space. The spare tires in the back as it should be. There's the back seat, the front. This looks really good. Like, really good. This would have taken forever. And yeah, that's pretty much it to check out on that really quick until I actually drive it. Trailer. I'm assuming these are basically propane tanks and spare tire storage top and then you could put like solar panels and stuff the back doesn't open Not bad <laughs> a little cooler that's adorable desk and stuff and a duck this is amazing all you're missing is a little like cookbot which i guess could go even there This is awesome. I've wanted to do something like this in scrap for so long and just have like, what is it, a overlanding or like a nomad survivalist kind of setup? Just you, your vehicle, and what you can fit in it. And I think that would be really cool and just kind of set up a workshop that you can use to work on the truck trailer and make stuff when you need to and then aside from that you're just out doing your thing with your truck like imagine driving through survival just going from like campsite to campsite finding water collecting oil to bring back and make into gas the trailer is your main hub for like you know saving blah 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 this would be so amazing in survival. So amazing. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but with a uh, Wrangler. Like my uh, old white one that I used to have in this. I think I still have it, but it needs mods, so I can't use it. But yeah, this is so awesome. That's why I'm probably taking a bit longer on this. There's way more stuff to check out, and it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Learns.
And I'm surprised, it actually has a lot of torque. Like, it just tows this trailer no problem. This is awesome. I need to move on to the next one before I take way too long on it, but the, you know, last challenge and this challenge, the whole camping off-road theme, this suits both of them. Because you could take this literally anywhere you want, and then just live there. <laughs> like, literally. And... Yeah, but I need to move on to the next one before I take way too long. Like I said, I've been trying to do that for a while. Next is a VW 26.280 RV No Mods by Marlo94. Based on the VW that I mentioned, door lights and diff lock. Ooh, it has differentials. Cool. Oops, I meant to hit build, not escape. This is huge. Alright, so I've never seen VW. I'm guessing that's Volkswagen. I've never seen a Volkswagen this big. So, by the way, this is really cool though. We go underneath and we have a simple front bar beam suspension. Massive rear differentials with the locking. See right on simple stick suspension, it's a chassis and stuff. Enough to get the point across. It looks good. Massive engine. Cab is separate, but it doesn't move around. Save lag. Let's see if I can jump up and look inside. Simple interior. All it really needs to be. Looks good though. Really good. I'm guessing the main details are all in the back. So if I open that, that lowers that part. Which looks like it's just an access panel. Okay, yeah, that, I'm guessing, turns on the four-wheel drive, or the low. Diff lock. How is that... That's not diff lock, that's just low. Diff lock, they'd have to spin the same speed. By the way, we shall check that out again, because the stairs kind of slide out. I like it, I, I like little D. Yeah, that's all. And then yeah, in the back we've got a little air conditioning unit, a light, radio, our bed, a desk, table, a light. Getting the name of this for some reason, water dispenser. Crate. And the bathroom? Yes. Duck. Nice big bathroom. Really big bathroom, wow. This is awesome. This would be great in survival as well. Just because of its sheer size, you'd be able to just put everything you need. Your bed, your cookbot, oops, everything. Here we just have some storage space. Cool. Let's see how it drives. I'm going to cycle it. And hop in, take a sip of my coffee really quick. Okay. <clears throat> and off we go. Door, lights, and that low mode. It definitely feels big and heavy, that's for sure. But it handles really good. 
I would agree, for the most part, this would get pretty much anywhere you want. I want to go up this hill. On low, and it just keeps on going. If it had power to the front wheels, it would be a little bit better at crawling, of course, but... Or just off-road in general, but... Really, with the size of this and how big the wheels really would be, you wouldn't have much trouble. Just put it in low, slide the clutch out or let it go on the torque converter, and up you go. A little bit top heavy, but real life you'd have like sway bars and stuff, but... I still think those differentials are huge. Spare tire on the back, ladder on the back. Looks good. It's actually kind of fun to drive, I like it. Again, this would be fun in survival to get from like your main area to a warehouse. Or even a forwards op forward operation based, FOB. Actually, this would work really well as an FOB. Yeah. By the way, I don't know what else to say about this one. There's the piston for that. Checked out all this, so yeah. And the gas tank, it looks like, back there. Or, that's, that's the tank for the toilet. <laughs> that's the black tank. That should be black, not red. And our and again, but yeah, I don't know what else to check out, so I think we have one more for this week, so I'm going to move on to that one so I can end this hour-long Community Builds episode. Jeez. Um, this is Trail Truck version 0 0.9 by Jeefcake. This is an updated version of the medium duty pickup truck designed to do better off road and hopefully less lag. I cannot tell how laggy it may be and apologize. May or not be based on a very old truck I built years ago. Controls, driver's door, roof, lights, roof light bar, hood, and passenger door. Version 1 will hopefully include dual solid axles but will, will include a full redesign of the false leaf springs be more FPS friendly and allow for more realistic truck beds to be put on it without interfering the suspension. Feel free to use any parts of the truck, make it into whatever you want, credit or no credit, just don't pass it off as your own. Okay, so I think we have seen this before, or at least a different version of this, and you did share it in Discord. Ah, I remember. Yeah. That goes down there. It's really weird. But either way, nice beam suspension that, if I remember correctly, works quite well. Big engine, pistons, and box for better height, and so on. Saws. I see. Is that the drivetrain? I'm not sure what that is. That one there is boss. That one there is the exhaust. See, I'm not sure what. Could be the drive shaft. We have our rear fake leaf springs, basically the way I did it back in the day. And a flatbed. A stack on a tiny truck. This is great. Massive bull bar exo cage. This is crazy. Door, jump on in. Simple interior, all you need to have. That's basically all I do with mine. Close the door. Roof, lights, lights, hood, top of the engine. Looks like a. I can't really tell, but it looks like a V8. And the other door. Okay, let's take this for a spin.
yeah. As I thought, the front suspension is just soaking up everything, and so is the back. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you submitted something similar to this, and I was pretty impressed with the suspension then, and I still am. Like, it just, it works perfectly. There's no complaints about this at all. You know, aside from it being so boxy, but it's scrap mechanic, what do you expect? Even my first truck was just a box on But this is fun to drive. It's it feels like it wants to roll. And then it doesn't. It just turns and kinda wheel hops. <laughs> ah, tree. But yeah, this is awesome. And then as for the challenge, this would work really well. Give it better torque. You could put tons of stuff on the back and get it anywhere. And you could even have a tree fall on your head and you'd probably be fine. So, yeah, this is awesome. A lot of fun to drive, but I'm limited on time this week. Like I said, it's already been an hour, and these are usually like a half hour at most. So, either way, I gotta go because I have a lot more recording to do today. That was, I believe, all 12 creations. Um, I guess really quick, I'll mention my Cozy 8x8. It should be on the workshop already. You go onto the workshop under me, into the Cozy stuff. But yeah, it's just an 8x8 with all-wheel steering and... Make a better video on it at some point. I guess that's what I would have submitted for this challenge if I actually took part, but either way, <clears throat> next week's challenge is a Rube Goldberg machine. So, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's essentially a machine that perform that completes a simple task, but as complicated as possible, with as many steps. So if you want to boil water, I, I don't know, you could have a bunch of dominoes fall on the lever or the button that turns on the kettle, if that's what you're using, and then you could have something hit the dominoes, and then something that hits that, and so on and so forth. Just something that completes a task, and it's way over complicated than it needs to be. However, there's a slight issue with Scrap Mechanic, because these could get very laggy. So this should be interesting. Um, as usual though, aside from the challenge, you can upload whatever you want, any creations, as long as they are appropriate. Um, basically, whatever you want, literally anything. And then once it's on the lift, put in your description and stuff, and then hit share, which will be down in the bottom, like that, hit share. And then once it is on the workshop, on the right side, set it so that the privacy is set at least to unlisted, I think it is, so that people can see it with the link. And then take your link from the top, go into the Discord group in the description, and then under vanilla community builds, because currently mods are still not really working for me, and then under vanilla, submit your creation and as i just mentioned mods aren't really working for me so please try to keep everything as vanilla as you can when submitting for community builds or you want me to check out otherwise yeah typical stuff so i don't know what else to say i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching